Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. So in this video, we'll discuss the third problem of lead code bi-weekly contest 106. Yes, so it's a medium level problem. But as I have said in my previous video for the, for the same contest that the accuracy seems to be low for every problem in this contest. And this one is a tricky one. There is just one observation which will make this problem very, very easy. I'll let you know that. But yeah, you can see out of 14 or 15,000 solutions, just 3,000 are accepted. So let's see what the problem is asking us to do. So the name of the problem is movement of robots. So some robots are standing on an infinite number line with their initial configuration given by a zero index integer array nums. And they'll start moving once given the command to move. The robots will move a unit distance each second. You are given a string S denoting the direction in which the robot will move on command L means the robot will move towards the left side or negative side of the number line, whereas R means the robot will move towards the right side or positive side of the number line. Okay. Now, if two robots collide, they'll start moving in opposite direction. Return the sum of distances between all the pairs of robots D seconds after the command. Now, since the sum can be very large, return it modulo 10 raised to power 9 plus 7. Okay. A generic prime number that is given in most of the problems, right? Now for two robots at index i and j, pair i comma j and pair j comma i i are considered the same pair. Okay. When robots collide, they instantly change this direct their direction without wasting any time. Now this is very tricky, you know. This thing will make the problem very easy. Collision happens when two robots share the same place in a moment. For example, if a robot is positioned in zero, going to the right, and another positioned in two, going to the left. Now the next second, they will be both in one and they'll change the direction and the next second, the first one will be on zero heading left and another will be in two heading right. I, I would say cumbersome, it's the, the, <laughs> the explanation is pretty big. I'll let you know in short. Okay. So it says that, okay. It says that, let me pick this example. Okay. This is a number line. This is zero, one, sorry, two, three, minus one, minus two minus three okay a robot is standing here at minus two okay moving right a robot is standing here a robot is standing here but this guy is moving right and these two are moving left this is moving left this is moving left okay we have to find the distance after three commands three seconds okay after one second what will happen so initially there are they are at let me write it here okay minus two minus one uh, sorry minus two zero and two after one second, what will happen? This guy is moving right. This will move to minus one. This is zero moving left. This will also move to minus one. And this guy is as at, at two moving left. It will move at one. Okay. After one second, this is the position. After two seconds, what happened? Okay. Now these two are at position minus one. After one second, they both are here. What will happen? This guy will reverse, reverse its direction. This guy will reverse its direction. Okay. So as soon as they collide, they reverse their direction. So just after, so at this, they meet and they reverse their direction. Okay. At that's at the same instant of time. So at the second instant, what will happen now? This is starting moving left. So it will again come back to minus two. This will come back to zero and this was here. So this will come here. It will, it will come to zero. Okay. Now see the trick here again. These two are at the same position. So at three, what will happen? This guy is moving here. Obviously it will move to minus three. Now, as soon as they collided, it was moving here. It will come here, right? So it will come to minus one and this guy from zero will come to one. Okay. And this is the final position. Now, what do you have to do? You have to, these are the positions. So you have to find the sum of distance between each pair. Like for example, between these two, the distance is two between these two, uh, the distance is four, right? Between these two, the distance is two. So two plus four plus two, that is eight. So eight is your answer. Okay. This is what the problem is asking us to do. Now just say the, just see the trick. What did I say? When robots collide, they instantly change the, their direction. Okay. Let's come here. After one second, what was happening? There was a guy moving here, a guy moving here. They met here, right? And at the same instant, they changed their direction. Okay. Getting it. So if this was, I think minus two, this was minus one, this was zero. Okay, they met at minus one. So at the next instant, this guy will again come back to minus two and this will again come back to zero. Okay, after changing the direction. Now let's remove this condition that they are changing the direction. Suppose they are not interfering each other, right? So actually what is happening? This guy was moving here. After one second, it came at minus one, right? 
at the very next instant it it came at minus 2 in this direction getting it that means irrespective of whether there was a collision or not this guy kept on moving in the same direction and the same distance right similarly this guy was here it came here right forget about whether there was any collision here or not at the very next instant it will move to zero from minus two it moved to minus one then it moved to zero what i mean to say if you consider that the direction is changed after a collision then what will happen whoever started here will come back here whoever started here will come back here but i'm not concerned about which robot is moving where right just assume that whichever robot was here it came here whichever robot was here came here that means there is a number line and they are not interfering each other right ultimately what is happening maybe the robot is changing but i'm not concerned about that the guy who was here ideally based on the question it should it should have come here and then come back here but and this was for the first robot and the second robot what what it should have done it should have come here and come here right that means after two units of time there would have been a robot at zero and minus two this moving here this moving here instead of this forget about this collusion collision a robot came from zero to minus one then to minus two great there was no collision assume there was no collision and the second robot came from minus two to minus one to zero so at after two units of time there is a robot at minus two moving left there is a robot at zero moving right that is what i wanted even after the collision okay that means collision is not doing anything right forget about the collision all you need to do is consider is they are not they are not they are they are not interfering each other so if a robot is standing here moving in the right direction then after d units of time what it will do it will be at plus d distance its its index will be plus d similarly if a robot is standing here and moving in the left direction after d units of time it will be standing at current position minus d that's the trick here okay that's the trick now this question is reduced to a very easy question uh now what's the question the question is for every robot you know the direction and after d unit of time you also know what it what will be its position for example whichever is moving right add plus d whichever is moving left add minus d d is given right now you need to find the distance right first problem is solved collision is neglected first problem is solved you know after d unit of time what will be their positions rather maybe the robots have changed but for n robots these are the positions maybe the robots are different but the positions will be same right we just discussed why why that happens right now what happens if you are standing here at the jth index right and you need to find um, what is the distance of all the other robots right so this is a typical i would say prefix some problem why because suppose i want to calculate the distance of this guy from all these people right what i can do i'll do this minus this this minus this this minus this this minus this in short suppose this is x this is a b c d okay suppose a b c d are smaller than x so i want to calculate x minus a plus x minus b x minus c plus x minus d in short i can write 4x minus a plus b plus c plus d okay this is what i want ultimately in my result right what i'll do i'll just sort the array so that they are in, they are in increasing order and when i'm standing at the jth index all i'll do is i'll see how many numbers are before me j into whatever is the current value minus some of these numbers right a typical i would say prefix some problem and based on that in linear time i'll be able to calculate the sum of pairs as well okay let's see a working example for this one so the first thing that i've done here is if a robot is moving in the right direction this is the new position nums of i plus d if it is moving in the left direction it is minus d okay sort the numbers why because i need to find the pairs the constraints are high right you have 10 to the power 5 elements you can't write an n square algorithm to find the distance of each pair right so that's that also gives you a hint that okay i need to do some tweaking and rearranging of data you sort the numbers this is the number which which you will take the mod this is my answer this is the prefix i'm i'm talking about right now i is equals to 0 i less than nums dot at i plus plus i'm standing at the ith index so what i'll do what did i say i into nums of i if i'm standing at the ith index how many numbers are before me that is equals to i because indexing starts from 0 if, if i'm standing at 0th index there is no number before me if i'm standing at 1th index there is one number so that is why i into nums of i minus 
whatever is the sum of elements before me. So if I'm standing at zero, actually the sum of elements is zero. And at the very next step, I'll just add the current number, right? So this is what my answer is. Answer equals to answer plus i times nums of i minus prefix sum. And you obviously take, keep on taking mod, right? So that you don't uh, get a, get an overflow, right? That's why you take mod here. And then while calculating prefix sum also you take mod, right? To avoid the overflows. Finally, what, what happens? This answer will have your uh, final value, which obviously will be less than, e, less than this value. So you convert this long data type into int, just type cast it and return the answer, right? So that's uh, all for this problem. I know it was a tricky one, but to be very honest, um, this is how you learn solving uh, good problems, right? The observation here was that the robots, either you consider them changing the direction or not, your answer doesn't change, right? Because maybe the, maybe robot one was this, robot two was this, and after some time you wanted robot one here and robot two here because they collided and changed the direction. But what? But I'm not concerned about which robot is this. Maybe one was here, two was here. And after some time, two is here, one is here. Moving here, moving here. Ultimately, there is a robot at this position moving in this direction and a robot here moving in this direction. What I wanted after collision. After collision, ideally, one should have been moving here and two should have been moving here. But again, which robot doesn't matter. Rather, the positions matter, right? Because I have to calculate the distance between them. And not that, okay, this is the idea of a robot and all, right? So yeah, I hope you learned something good from this video, right? So do support it by giving up a thumbs up. Do subscribe to the channel as well. Uh, again, if you have any queries related to this problem, because I understand it's a very good problem to solve, do let me know in the comment section. I'll revert on each one of them. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.